friends welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video I'm going to share with you some really really amazing tips on how you can improve your English in a very short period of time. If you want to learn anything new you must understand the methodology to do it. If you don't know the methodology then you will keep on using trial and error method and you might not ever succeed. The same case is with language learning be it English or any other language. You must understand the methodology to improve your language skills. There are four major components of any language and this is applies specifically in case of English language. First is reading second is writing, third is listening and fourth is speaking. These are the four major components of language. Now reading and listening can be grouped together and writing and speaking can be grouped together. Now by reading and listening you mostly learn language, learn new words, learn new phrases and you understand how language is uh, spoken or how sentences are formed. For example, uh, if you want to learn a language, you need to first read something. You know, must know the alphabets. Then after knowing the alphabets, you know the words and then you read something and then you understand how uh, the language is structured. What is the subject and verb agreement? And it is through reading and listening that you learn new vocabularies. You come across new words, new phrases. When you are listening an interview of an actor on YouTube, you come across certain words that the person uses and then you start using it in your vocabulary, in your uh, speaking as well. The second major chunk involves writing and speaking. This is the practical application of language. When you read and listen, you learn words, you learn phrases and then you apply those learnings when you are speaking or writing. A very simple way to understand this is to uh, do a very simple activity. Now let me give you some practical tips on how you can improve your English. We have just understood the fact that reading and listening helps you to become better at a language. So let us first look at what you can do with reading and listening to become better at English. We all know that there are ways in which you can consume English. You can read books, you can read uh, newspaper, you can watch TV series, you can watch movies. So how you should approach these things is the next question. So let's start with books. Now that you have ample time during quarantine, you can Pick up a book of your interest. It is very important that you pick a book which interests you plus the language should be easy if you are a beginner. If you directly pick up a book um, of like of some classical writer like Shakespeare or maybe Jane Austen, you will find extremely uh, difficult to understand the vocabulary. So it is better you start with Indian authors and contemporary authors and you take up authors uh, whose subjects interest you. For example, if you are uh, into romantic movies or romance, then in that case you can pick up romantic novels and you can start reading them. While you are reading them, if you come across a phrase or a word which you like, you can keep making a small note in the book itself or if you are very particular about keeping your books tidy, then you can keep a notebook with you where you can jot down these words and phrases. If in case you are feeling that you are not having any books during the quarantine period and all the bookstores and delivery uh, centers are closed then Kindle is a very good option. You can directly go to Kindle, download that book and read it on your mobile phone itself. The second important way in which you can improve your English is by watching a lot of movies and TV series. Now this is a very fun way of learning English. You can start with uh, subtitles. You can read the subtitles and listen to what they are saying. This would improve your pronunciation as well as will tell you new vocabulary which you can use in your day to day life. In this case also you can keep a notebook with you where you can jot down five to six new words. Don't overdo it. If you try to write each and every word you find you will get bored. So just try that okay every day if you are uh, listening to something for like half an hour then just write five words that would be more than enough you might find 50 new words but pick any five you like and just try to write that in a notebook 
The third way to improve your English is by listening to music. English songs is a very good way to improve your pronunciation and to uh, make you understand the accent. I used to take spoken English classes when I was in college and I used to take it with Rajasthan Patrika which is uh, Rajasthan's leading newspaper. So uh, during those sessions I made sure that just before the session ended every student uh, used to read the lyric of any one of the famous songs so every day we used to play one song be it taylor swift or be it bruno mars any one song we used to play in the class every student would have the lyrics of that song in front of them they used to listen to the song and uh, see the lyrics and that is how they would understand how the words were pronounced so it is a very very uh, great way to improve your accent if you start listening to songs a lot of people ask me that ma'am what about listening to news or reading newspaper let me tell you number one too boring i am not a person who is interested in current affairs so i would never suggest you that if you don't like current affairs then read newspaper you will get pathetically bored it is important that if you are learning something new you should look forward to learn it not to dread from it number 2 the language that newspapers have or the news readers speak in that's a more of a formal language which we don't use in our day to day world so always look at uh sources from where you can get day to day language words which you can directly use in practical scenarios so that is important so these are few ways in which you can improve your english apart from that youtube is a phenomenal way through which you can improve your english if you want me to make more videos on spoken english please put that in the comments below and i'm definitely going to start a video series on spoken english uh, and how you can improve your vocabulary develop your vocabulary uh, else you can follow a lot of youtube channels where there are great teachers who are teaching you new words so there are channels where you will find five ways to say thank you you can just go and watch that video you will find some amazing phrases that you can use instead of just saying thank you similarly you can find so many new idioms on rain dog you can note down those um, idioms and use it in your day to day world so i hope this video helps you to understand how you can improve your english gradually and you can make it a fun filled activity uh, if you want to know uh, more about how you can improve your english if you want me to tell some games which you uh, might play with yourself to uh, make yourself better at english then please put that in the comments below and i'm going to start a video series on vocabulary and english speaking skills apart from that if you have any other questions or doubt you know that it's very simple to ask it put that in the comments below share this video with all those you think are looking for improving their english apart from that uh, you can follow us on our social media platforms because there i post some really fun quizzes on english i post some really fun questions or uh, and some really fun vocabulary words that uh, will help you to become better at english and uh, it is also going to sound really fancy when you use them so that's it for this video lecture we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com